So a common issue during production of documents, especially print documents, is making sure that you have the right fonts installed for when you want to print the project. Uh, this can be a problem when you, you know, send a, a file on to someone else, you send it to a print service provider, and you want to make sure the fonts that you need to print this job are included with that document. So here's an example where I'll open up a document, and of course we get the dreaded missing fonts dialog box because one of the fonts I need to output this document, it's used in the design of this document, are not included or not installed in this system. So you get the missing fonts dialog and you have to do a, a, a choice of whether or not you quit and go install the proper fonts or you know, map the missing font to a font that you do have. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay and just skip this dialog for a second. And when you're in the preview mode, of course, you see the pink shading wherever you have a missing font as well. So I'm gonna close the document. That's the old pre-CS5 issue. Now that we have InDesign CS5, you'll see that I've got this exact same document in a folder with another folder called Document Fonts. Now we created this by doing the package command in InDesign. It's a command that's been there for quite some time. You package the InDesign document, all the graphics associated with it are used in that document, and you also always had the ability to package the fonts used in the document as well into a separate folder. Before InDesign CS5, however, InDesign didn't do anything with those fonts. It was still up to you or your printer or whoever was going to work on this document next to make sure those fonts were installed before you open the document. Now with InDesign CS5, I'm simply going to open this version of the document from the same folder where that document fonts folder is and watch what happens this time. I get no missing fonts dialog and the font that I needed is automatically installed for use in this document. If I take a look at the type menu under the font menu, you'll see that the document only fonts have been loaded and installed for use in this document, in this document only. And then the best part of this as well is when you quit this document or close it, those fonts automatically get uninstalled as well. So the new feature, document installed fonts, really saves a lot of headache when it comes to printing an output and sharing these files with others.